Today we're gonna talk about how we get away with only cleaning the chicken coop once a year. Hi, this is Laura with Lonely Pines Farm. Well, it's my backside. <laughs> and today we're talking about the deep litter method. This is one of the easiest and most affordable options you have when it comes to managing your chicken waste. The basic premise is to combine bedding with chicken droppings inside the coop, effectively turning your coop into a composter. And in the long run, you end up spending less time cleaning out your coop and less money on bedding. Now I want to preface this by saying we are by no means experts. We attempted the deep litter method last year and admittedly kind of missed the mark. When we pulled back the bedding we were hoping for beautiful soil and it turned out that we just had slightly broken down chips. But that made us do a ton of research and realize exactly where we went wrong. So with that I give you the do's and don'ts of the deep litter method aka how to avoid all of our mistakes. <laughs> Let's start with the do's. Number one, do choose a carbon-based bedding. If you know anything about compost, you know that the chickens are bringing the greens and you gotta bring the browns. Pine shavings are a great place to start. Number two, do turn it over regularly. You wanna make sure that everything is mixed well and decomposes evenly and that you're introducing oxygen to the compost as well. Number three, do make sure that your coop has great ventilations. Chickens have sensitive respiratory systems and you don't want a buildup of ammonia affecting them negatively. You may have noticed that we have a ton of windows in our coop and that's no accident. Do clean it out every spring. You want to give it an annual cleaning to make sure you're not harboring any nasties and spring is the perfect time to let it compost all summer long. Now for the don'ts. Don't remove any waste. This was our big downfall. If you remove the waste, the bedding won't break down. Instead, just mix the waste into the bedding. That's how you get your compost going. Number two, don't let it get too wet. This can be a huge issue. Moisture with chickens. You can get parasites, diseases, bumblefoot, so don't let it happen. Number three, don't reuse bedding if you've identified any sort of disease, lice, mites, anything like that within your flock. And number four, don't use diatomaceous earth or DE. It will kill the bad as well as the good bacteria, and your compost will never get going. And there you have it. That's the rapid fire version. If you want more info, check out the companion blog post link below. And uh, thanks for tagging along. At least for now, I can say. And just like that, the chickens are ready for another year. We got a ton of great compost. They have a beautiful clean coop. And we are so in love with the deep composting method.